Welcome to the Edge of NFT podcast with your hosts, Jeff Kelly, Ethan Janney, and Josh Krieger. We aim to bring you not only the top 1% of what's going on with NFTs today, but what will stand the test of time. We explore the nuts and bolts and the business side, but also the human element of how NFTs are changing the way we interact with the things that we love. This podcast is for the futurists and dreamers, the disruptors and creators, the fans and connectors, and the makers and doers that are pumped about this ecosystem and driving where it goes next. All right. Hello, hello. Welcome. Welcome, Nicole. Uh, welcome all of our viewers to the Edge NFT here at the Miami Crypto Experience with your hosts, Jeff Kelly, Ethan Jan, and Josh Krieger. Yeah, we're, we're excited to, to see you, Nicole Buffett. Um, I'm going to give a little quick intro here and, uh, and we'll get going into uh, our discussion. Um, so this discussion today features Nicole Buffett. 50 NFT influencer, artist, philanthropist, and creator of Spirit Coins, among many other uh, creative and artistic things. She and Edge of NFT are collaborating on a special Spirit Seed NFT drop at the intersection of her Spirit Coins and our forthcoming Living Tree drop. And so today we're going to have a little bit of chat about what we've been cooking up and get a little bit of background on everybody. And, uh, and so for, first off, just want to say, you know, welcome to you, Nicole. And if you want to, uh, if you're, you don't have to, but if you want to say anything up front here before we dive in, you know, you've got some space. Okay. Well, thanks you guys for having me. I'm so fortunate to have met you three and it was so such a synergistic kind of, uh, everything's been happening at the speed of light. So it doesn't surprise me <laughs> that it was so just like a spontaneous lightning bolt. Um, meeting you and being on edge of NFT and then just like diving into this amazing project. So, but you know, it's really, um, I had been thinking about trees and wanting to do impact NFT work around trees. And so you were literally like a dream come true, prayer answered right away. Um, so it doesn't surprise me because this is how it seems things are working nowadays, which is a very, very good thing. Yeah, I think I think the, the the genesis of this project is is so similar to some of the other projects we've heard about in the space um, and in from our guests, right? Um, Ethan and I were uh, doing some media support for a really cool uh, party in LA for for Praise Token, and um, our good friend Scott from Liquid Star introduced us to Nicole and. Um, we realized immediately how much common ground we had around, um, you know, doing real projects at the edge of NFTs that not only are are fun and cool and special, but have a, a really meaningful social impact. And and then to to learn about all the work you've done philanthropically with your art and how you got into the space, it was just like, wow, we got to do something together. Absolutely, I agree. Yeah, and, and I just interviewed, uh, FYI, I just interviewed Jesse Tevolo, uh, who hosted that event that we were at, and we had a really great conversation, um, which, which will overlap with what we're talking about today. You know, we we brought up the the, um, the sociologist, Airborne View, like had all these very interesting ideas around capital, you know, how there's different forms of capital, social capital, political capital, and all these different domains in which value is exchanged. And I think that's it's a great segue into learning a little bit more about your Spirit Coin project. Um, mm -hmm. We want to know, you know, at least for we know a little bit about it, um, but for people who are who are just tuning in here, you tell us what it is and what is your inspiration for the Spirit Coin project. So um, yeah, so about a year ago, uh, my partner Justin Eversano, um he introduced me to this whole world <laughs> of NFTs. And uh, we, it was just like one morning, it was like I was already making these paintings that I now call spirit coins, which originally were made inspired by um, and for another charitable cause at the time that I was supporting called Center for Council, which is a program that introduces the Native American practice, indigenous practice of holding council, which is in very high kind of 
um, conflict spaces like prisons or between kind of um, conflicting groups um, where people sit in a circle and you use a talking stick and you mm -hmm. share. And so you learn to listen and connect. And um, I had been going to a lot of these council groups and it was just super amazing to see how transformative the simple act of sitting in a circle and you know, watching the beginning of how everyone came together to once everyone had really listened and connected, it was like almost like a psych, it was truly like a psychedelic experience, the power of just the simplicity of listening. And kind of, so I made these paintings originally as almost like depictions of how energy is held amongst different groups of people and how there's this beautiful harmonic um, design that's so unique with each group that starts being generated just by listening and connecting. So that's where spirit coins come from. So they're really an homage to indigenous practices, but also healing practices of connection. Um, the, the paintings themselves are meant to be really simple and full of light and color and kind of reflect that practice of mindfulness, paying attention and just the power of that. Um, so, so, so as I began to, I had some of those created, um, they seemed like a really nice kind of graphic um, work to um, kind of transfer over into the digital space. I'm also a mixed media painter, so I do a lot of other things, but it just felt, it felt really right. And it felt like they were full of light. And the fact that the screen is, you know, basically a, a plane of lumen and, and a luminosity, it felt like it really, was the perfect kind of marriage with these pieces. And so then I came up with the term spirit coin because I was fascinated by the new economy that crypto is presenting and at that point creating and just the possibilities of um, what this can do for not only the, the creators, the individuals, obviously to gain profit, which is fantastic, but also then also the abundance factor of potentiality for it to generate profit for all kinds of other amazing things. So, yeah. so that's, that's the that's the story of the spirit coin. Wow, love hearing this, and and um, you know, the viewer here, the listener can go look if you just Google, you know, in Cole Buffett spirit coin, you could see these images, and um, I love hearing you describe the origin of them because you know, just just for descriptive purposes, you know, they're they're very kind of circular. There's kind of little pieces that are interlaced with each other, right? And I almost now, now that you describe a little bit more deeply, imagine like a circle of individuals, right? Uh, speaking with each other, engaging, interacting, being interconnected, um, as well as just being kind of this mandala type of inspired design. Um, and also what you mentioned about this uh, this uh, native practice, right? Of, of having these sessions together, it reminded me of something uh, sort of an interesting, what I might call emotional technology I've participated in recently. There's a practice called circling or um, authentic relating, which the, the viewer might uh, like to check out. But uh, individuals uh, develop the special way of kind of a, uh, a communication and it, it, it's called circling. Like people get in a circle and, uh, and there's sort of a, a, a rule around communication that ensures that everybody is communicating in the present moment. And as you mentioned it as a bit of a psychedelic experience, I think earlier, it, it does have this very interesting experience of I'm talking with people, we're engaging and interacting, but it feel, feels way different than all my other conversations. I feel very present, I feel very connected, right? And uh, and all the paths in the future wash away. So I love yeah. that. Yeah, it's very powerful stuff. And Nicole, you, you also did a really special uh, collaboration with Justin, um, related to, to time, right, around um, this mother tree, which I also think is an interesting input to our collaboration. Could you speak to that a little bit? Yeah, that was um, that was amazing. And that was kind of the beginning of, that was an expression of wanting to work with trees and wanting to do something connected to trees. Um, we had, you know, we were invited by time, Justin and I, to do a collaborative piece. and. Justin and I have a favorite restaurant in Los Angeles. And one of the reasons why we love it, excuse the dinging, uh, one of the reasons why we love it is um, because the, it's basically, it's, it's um, called Big. And there's this massive fig tree that looks like a, almost like a baobab tree from Africa. It's just incredibly beautiful and huge. And the whole hotel is basically built around this amazing tree. 
And I just love it. I just love seeing this tree. It's kind of like a hidden, you know, treasure, <laughs> the, the tree Taj Mahal of LA. So I just, right when we had the chance to do something, I thought, let's do something on that tree. You know, we both love it so much. And I think trees need more um, attention and to be celebrated more. So um, that's what we did. And I, um, I actually called it Mother Tree. Um, we called it Mother Tree because it actually ended up saving, actually truly saving my mother's life that night, oh, which wow. most people don't realize. Um, yeah, we had got, we had to go back to my mom's house to get the, the correct lens for that. And had we not gone back that moment, that day to get the lens, my mom probably wouldn't be alive. And so I came up to her room and basically it was a, it was a very, it was not a good, <laughs> it was a very scary moment, but ultimately um, the paramedics were called and I was able to save my mom's life. And oh, wow. yeah, and that happened. And then it was like, okay, we're going to go take the picture of the tree. Literally we did it that night. Wow. You know, my That's mom went to, so hence the, the title mother tree, but, that so it was a very potent moment um but it also just, there are such things as mother trees i'm not sure if you know this but there are mother trees that's what they call them that actually their their root network goes so out so far they hold the biggest space communicating to all the other trees around them and sending signals so this tree probably is a mother tree just hence just because of its size so, but so it's this is all you know, kind of the magic and beauty of what's going on right now. And yeah, it's so special. Um, it, when we think about the articulation through the the spirit coins and the outgrowth of, uh, of the, the the genesis of everything here, if people want to uh, have a piece of this, uh, to have a spirit coin to um, to support uh, all that you're about, everything that we're talking about now. How, how do they how do they get one? Well, um, <laughs> they can go on OpenSea and get one, and there'll, there'll be other soon to be very secret other things happening. Obviously, mm -hmm. one of them is our project, which I'm so excited about, which um, cannot be more happy. And I'll let you guys explain more of that because I'm sure. so excited. Um, you know, you can go on OpenSea and get a spirit coin there. Um, I'm about to do another drop um, before December 1st. <laughs> I keep I keep saying that, and I, I apologize to all of my. <laughs> I'm not trying to you guys, but uh, you know it takes a little time. I'm uh, but I've been in serious spirit coin production mode, and there's lots of amazing colors and the wonderful things happening that I'm so excited to share. So a follow up, a follow -up to that, like you know, of the ones that have, that that have been uh, purchased and traded already. Are, are these from people that you have a personal connection with? Are they just posted and they find it and they follow you and they and they like it? Is a little bit of both? How does that? Uh, how does that uh, happen? Well, I mean, my collectors so far has been have been completely new people. I've developed relationships mm -hmm. with all of them because if you're a primary buyer of the Spirit Coin collection, you do get um, the original painting, a framed original <sighs> painting, which is really been exciting for me. So doing that really, you know, really fosters the actual, you know, IRL connection with my collector base. Um, so yeah, so I have 34 right now. I'm gonna be going up to 100 and um, all 34 have been sent to to people and I've developed relationships as I send off the, the spirit coins. It's oh, amazing. And so on the other end of the spectrum, we have the Living Tree NFT project coming up uh, here in, in a few weeks uh, from the Edge of NFT team. And we have with us the, the uh, source of the artwork and inspiration for the project, Ethan Janney, our co-host, and wanted to ask you, Ethan, uh, about the inspiration for that project, man. I mean, it really, I think we were all talking about doing an NFT drop and one day we showed up and this entire conception was there really articulated in a, in a, in a, in a full way, frankly. And, and we had been struggling for, for months to figure out what is the big first drop for Edge of NFT because, you know, I think by the nature of our brand, we felt a lot of pressure to do something special. And then all of a sudden, you share this and we're like, yes, <laughs> that's beautiful. Yeah, I think, you know, in a lot of ways, there's serendipity here. Um, I think there's a theme coming into all of this of roots, right? It's, it's part of why we love the, the tree theme. 
um, but there's a lot of roots here. Um, I'm noticing number one, uh, roots just even in, in, in hearing you, Nicole, talk about the roots of your projects and how much that matters, you know, and how much that actually starts to enrich our collaboration, knowing and developing more about those roots. Um, this is a project that comes from my roots. Like I, I got into after, well, during my PhD studies, I, I got a little bit into computer programming and generative art. I started using a programming called a program called Processing, um, which is is useful for people who are both creating digital art, but maybe using it for uh, data visualization, things like that. And so this, I started to create these trees at that point, which are generative art. You know where the angles of the branches and the colors of the branches and the of the branches are all have a little bit of randomness thrown in and a little bit of algorithmic uh, magic uh, worked in, and I, I kept tweaking those algorithms until these beautiful trees started coming about. And even until now, um, I'm still tweaking them, right, to, to optimize what kind of cool artwork comes out of it. Um, so I think there's some roots there just in general, like set aside that it's that it's a tree project. There's a root of what's going on here, which is really cool. Um, but then again, this is why I think this project resonated with us so much as a team is because trees have such a strong imagery uh, for everything that we stand for. You know, uh, going beyond the root metaphor, you have these connections, right? And, you know, you talked about the mother tree project that you talked about the mother tree, the actual mother tree whose roots goes out and like interacts with all the different, uh, you know, fa uh, flora of, of a forest, right? Um, we, we actually just got off an interview uh, with Patrick who runs this avocado NFT project. And he was talking about the exact same thing about how, you know, you can't have a farm where it's just one thing, or you, I mean, you can, but you're kind of neglecting the fact that within nature, there's always an integration of different types of plants, right? And, and they work off of each other and they help each other. Um, and so a theme of what we do, this word co-creation just emerged in everything that we talked about. And in a sense, uh, trees are co-creating, right? Uh, with their environment. And I guess the last thing um, that I'll bring up here uh, as a metaphor from trees is this sort of branching capability. And trees are really, uh, uh, in a sense, a metaphor for, for life and reality, right? Reality is just a, a branching off, you know, of, of sort of an iterative process, right? Where all these different possibilities start to uh, to appear. Um, and so, yeah, I, th I think uh, that's where this I'll, I'll add one more, more um, favorite tree quality for me, which is the, you know, the emission of oxygen. And I feel like when I'm among more trees, I, I can think clear and, and I see possibilities that aren't necessarily uh, present for me without, without those trees. I, 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 as a, we're having this conversation, I think about going through the bamboo forest and, and, yeah. Japan and in the rainforest in Peru and in Argentina and in these experiences I've had and I'm excited to visit Nicole's um, uh, spot in 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 Ojai and, and there's some really amazing agriculture there and, and I, I just I also think about this term edge effect we're using for our conference and um, in LA is sort of the sub theme in just this biological convergence. Um, that sort of starts with trees. Yeah, and very functionally, it's it's about branching out uh, into all different uh, aspects of the world of, of NFTs, as well as uh, our connection to our listeners and being able to literally co-create with our listeners. And so, when we think of the utility beyond the the beautiful artwork that we're talking about here, um, we, we have a real opportunity for our listeners to co-create with us from helping us to determine the questions for guests, the format for the show, the guests that we have, even the hosts. There's so many opportunities to actually collaborate and only one of these NFTs will enable you to do that. Uh, you also have access to so many of our events. We have a large event that we talked about coming up, uh, NFTLA Edge Effect in uh, February next year. But also we have smaller events. We have AMAs, um, uh, private uh, opportunities to connect with some of our special guests and other contexts, our newsletter and premium content related to that. Um, of course, each NFT will also uh, plant uh, the 25 real trees yeah. from the Living Tree uh, Project. All over the world, so, right? 
Yeah. Yeah. So we're talking about tens of thousands of trees being planted as a result of this. So lots and lots of really amazing utility built into it as well, which will grow over time. Um, another great uh, yeah. metaphor. But we, uh, we have contests, we have giveaways that our listeners have already experienced. The list goes on and on and on, and it's not fixed. We're defining very, uh, very particular giveaways, um, uh, contests, participation, co-creation right now. But this is going to grow. We'll continue to go just like a tree, just like the branches that we're talking about mm-hmm. that are so important to us now. Mm-hmm. Um, and and really, one of the really cool things that we wanted to, to dig in on, I think, at this point is the bridge between what we talked about with the mother tree and spirit coins and our living tree project. And that, that bridge really is spirit seeds. Mm-hmm. And so um, let's talk about the origination of that. Yeah, for sure. Um, I'll throw it in. I'll throw us into that. And then maybe... We'll kick it over to Nicole to talk about why that integration feels so special. Before I do that, I just want to make a quick comment as someone, you know, who's, who's done, done a little bit of, of uh, scientific studies. There actually are, uh, there's scientific research, I haven't looked at the table, uh, the research recently, uh, about the, literally the level of nature that you're in and, and how it affects your physiology and your mood and your, and your productivity, right? It, it literally like a park, okay, that's one level that nature will take you in, into physiologically. But then if you go into a forest, it actually takes you deeper. We know this intuitively, but they've actually done scientific wow. studies that show this. Um, so anyways, the, the spirit seeds, um, I'll, ex- I'll explain uh, you know, how the concept came about, but we'd love to get Nicole's perspective. You know, We talked to Nicole, we resonated with Nicole. We talked about a collaboration. We talked about our love for trees and, and, and you know, the earth and these new types of currencies. and um, I was inspired by her artwork to create something that made a bridge between our living tree project and her spirit choir project. And what that ended up being was these uh, sort of uh, eight bit uh, versions inspired by her spirit coins. So we have, I created 10 unique design elements um, that mimics the sort of inspiration that I got from uh, the spirit coins. And then uh, we're assigned uh, values uh, to those designs, uh, each each design will be paired with a value um, that pair with the letters of the word uh, spirit seed, um, and you know we we wanted to continue our uh, sort of uh, push to kind of regenerate and 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 uh, commune with nature, and so each one of the spirit seeds um, that gets minted actually offsets one year of carbon emissions for the average American individual. And, um, and people get uh, access to our convention in, in VIP access to our convention in February. And again, we're adding all sorts of other utilities. But uh, I want to uh, flip it over to you, Nicole, and say, you know, I showed you, you know, I d- design inspired, you know, you know, want, I, I don't know what you're going to say, <laughs> if you like it, if you don't, if you like these ideas, but you it's like basically how you, yes. <laughs> I don't know if you use exact words, you seem really enthusiastic about the whole thing. So yeah, if you could explain kind of what resonates with you about this collaboration and the spirit seed idea that we came up with. Sure. Yeah. I mean, well, first of all, I love the co-collaborative spirit of this whole space. So um, I, I was saying something to someone recently. I'm like, this is actually the opposite of what, you know, most people are trained to think, how we are trained, how we've all been trained to think, whether in the art world or in the finance world or any world, you know, as an I, me kind of culture, this is an us, we, you know, space. And so we're kind of, it's like a, a counter into it, kind of turning the wheel, you know, another direction. Um, and it just feels so much more fluid and it brings so much more ease and joy really because it, it's 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 like here's what I have to share and so it's really exciting to actually like give you guys these spirit coins and say like hey I'm so curious what you do with this and so seeing what you did with it I loved that really pared down like two-bit format um, it actually kind of reminds me of like tribal um, Mayan um, uh, designs. It just gets even more kind of simplified. If you can, if you can imagine that, it, it makes the spirit coin seem that much more complex. But I was also sharing that you know um, I've always felt like each brush um, mark, every mark made with the brush, feels like a seed that's planted that that actually 
generates the painting as I'm making it. I, so mm -hmm. um, that technology, you know, that, that organic technology that's within us, you know, that the technology that we've then created is all, you know, mirroring this other technology that's, that's happening. That's, that's creative and that's organic. And so this whole thing just kind of coalesced into this bigger concept, which was already kind of, you know, brewing, I mean, you know, already inside ultimately like a seed and then sprouting. So the relationship with you and then, you know, what I, how I influence you, how you influence me, and then it comes apart, you know, creates this whole other thing. So that just is proof um, that really like more is more and it's, it's better with more people. <laughs> so, you know, the singular model is really kind of um, starting to feel very outdated, you know? So I, I just love this. Yeah, totally. And um, I think we should tell tell folks the specifics there on the what we've come up with as at least a starting point for all the value that we're gonna create. And I think, you know, in a way, seeds and trees end up giving a lot to folks more maybe than than they get back um you know and and we've tried to do the same thing jeff you want you want to articulate some of the cool parts we have in mind yeah let's be let's be really clear about it for sure um it's amazing so we, we already mentioned that you'll receive one of uh one of 10 different types of spirit seed that uh that ethan designed with heavy inspiration collaboration uh from nicole uh there will be only 100 total spirit seeds ever that's it not, not doing this again um that's it so um so very special in terms of uh, supply uh, number one or two we mentioned the one year carbon offset which is amazing uh number three uh, VIP admission to the NFTLA uh, event in February next year. Uh, it will be transferable, by the way, if for some reason you can't make it. Which, by the way, is going to be, we're cooking up something in Los Angeles that's taking full advantage of, you know, the Los Angeles entertainment and scene that's going to be immersive and something basically you'll you'll never forget. It's going to be awesome. Absolutely. Uh, and then at number four, one living tree, right? You'll be able to mint one living tree with all the co-creation access admission perks that we mentioned a little bit earlier. And also, very importantly, uh, you'll have a 10% chance of, uh, of winning an actual spirit coin. The genesis of so much of uh, of our inspiration for this so it's very very special and um there will be additional surprises thereafter as we said we have some very defined uh, utility right now uh but but we're all about giving creating value creating a bigger pie for everybody and uh this will continue to uh, evolve into something really special yeah over time. yeah i mean in a sense this project um you know uh, provides a foundational ecology for both Edge of NFT and support Nicole's future um, creativity as well. And so, you know, who knows what we'll do? Uh, Nicole's got some amazing tiny home projects going on. Edge of NFT, we have new guests coming on the show every week that want to do cool things. And, and just for example, just like 20 minutes ago, we okay. created a giveaway where one lucky spirit seed holder is going to get a all expenses paid uh, experience in Nicaragua at Patrick's avocado farm. <laughs> There'll be a, a stipend of sorts for um, travel costs. If, if you're coming from really far away, um, that there may be some of that that you'll have to uh, cover on your own. But the bottom line is like right there, we just created more value with these spirit seeds and we're going to continue to do that um, because we like to, to create a lot of value. And so, um, we're excited about that, and uh, yeah, Nicole. Any anything to add there in terms of um, you know the project? Um, that, Final that we thoughts. Haven't covered yeah, or things that you want people to uh, to kind of pay attention to. Um, I just think that this is like a very dynamic space. Um, I really love that it's like I'm really seeing this. I love working with you guys and really understanding kind of like the masculine feminine principles, you know, being a painter, you guys being basically like technologists and a little more on the tech side. It's really like, I see that as very much kind of a, um, an aspect of the divine masculine and feminine being played out. And then what happens, someone once described it to me as actually a bird where one wing is the divine masculine and the other wing is the divine feminine. So obviously when they come together, the, bird can fly. 
And so I'm really feeling that um, within the space in general, and it's 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 really wonderful. So I just love um, what's happening, and um, yeah, I think more art. And I love that the art, the value of art, is really being celebrated um, in its in its true power. So that's what I'm really excited about. Thank you so much for having me here and contributing to this. Thank you. Uh, the, the feeling is mutual for sure. It's one of the reasons that I think we're also excited about collaborating together. You know, where should folks go to follow everything they're up to? Want to uh, give folks the opportunity to follow along? Sure. Um, my Instagram's Nicole Buffett Art. Um, two F's, two T's, N I C O L E, Nicole Buffett Art. Um, my website is being <laughs> updated as we speak, but you can you can see something there, which is NicoleBuffett.com. Um, yeah, and that's it. That's amazing. We appreciate it. And, uh, You're Ethan, welcome. want to uh, give, oh, yep. of course, OpenSea, OpenSea. If you put my name in OpenSea, you'll see my collection. So not to forget about that. Yes. Go yeah, there. It's amazing. Magical. You really have to go there right now, guys, uh, and check that out. So um, we, and should, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, let's share a little bit about, uh, what's forthcoming on our end as well. Yeah. So we'll give a, a little bit of detail on the rollout of the spirit seeds. Yeah. Let's wrap that? there. Okay. Awesome. Um, just so so folks that are out there know um, our, our target our target release of the spirit seeds to the public. We're going to have a live minting on our on our website, and that will be available on Wednesday um, of this coming week um, at noon Eastern time. So uh, you can uh, you can visit spiritseeds.xyz right now. You can review the website that we have up to kind of review what's going on and the details of this collaboration and find out more. Um, and there's a link to join our Discord channel from there as well. So you can start to be in the Living Tree Discord and, and engage there and find out more about what's going on. Uh, but yeah, look out for this happening on Wednesday at noon Eastern time. And uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun uh, with, with what's gonna build and grow into uh, the, the tall uh, sequoia trees that, <laughs> that, we, uh, that we all know and love uh, for a long period of time. Absolutely, and um, you know, definitely follow us on Twitter at uh, Edge of NFT and subscribe to our newsletter at edgeofnft.com for the latest and greatest on this project, our conference, and all the amazing guests like Nicola that we're very fortunate to have on our show. Thank, Thank you so much for your time. It was great to talk to you here, Nicole. Great we'll to talk see you, soon. Nicole.